crazy game, no? For sure, for sure. Overtime games are always crazy. Uh, just glad we won, man. Those games are always so much more fun when you win and, and get to celebrate instead of having to go watch film and think about how you lost. So it was good to win. Do you like the uh, Elam ending? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's. I mean, obviously you get to know what you got to get to to win. Uh, it's definitely different than normal games, uh, and it makes you you know have to lock in defensively, have to get stops. Defensively, coach was saying you guys wanted to be more disruptive. Yeah. How did you guys? get back into the game being disruptive? Uh, we had to stop fouling. I think we were so caught up in being physical that we were fouling a lot and they were getting to the line. Um, and any good team that gets to the line is going to get rhythm from getting free throws. So I think it was good for us just to relax a little bit, uh, still be aggressive, but be smart about it. And uh, once you start limiting their fouls and getting in transition, the game kind of came into our favor a little bit. And you saw him know, obviously, right away. He wanted to be aggressive. He was yeah. in blocks, alternate shots. Just how much more confident, if you, you talked about his confidence, mm -hmm. but just seeing it now, was it just exciting to kind of see him in that role? Yeah, that's but, great. You know, you, he, I feel like he feels like he can block anybody at any time. And that's the mindset you want to have in a guy. And gives us confidence to guard the ball because we know that we got somebody back there that wants to clean everything up. So I think what Noah did just to start off the game, you know, kind of just set the tone for the rest of the entire game as far as his aggressive mindset and, uh, you know, wanting to go out there and clean everything that's, that's going up. You seemed comfortable with that physicality, though. Yeah. I mean, that seemed to get you going, especially yeah. offensively, you know, for sure. seeking out some content. Yeah, no, I feel like that's just always kind of been my game, especially going to KU. That's kind of like what we're, like, raised to do is just be physical when we play um, and know how to do it the right way. Like I said, there's a difference from going out and just being aggressive and fouling and, and know how to do it, especially with a guy like Oscar. You've know, you got to put a body on him. He's he's ridiculous, but um, it's a great game to learn learn how to do it. And you know, just looking forward to the next one now. The shot was falling in the second half, and obviously that game time three. I remember last year you said you improved and really wanted to show it. Do you just feel more confident with that shot now? Just if it goes, it goes. Whatever, just yeah. more confidence yeah. with that. Yeah, just understanding that you know we ain't played basketball since April. This first kind of like real game we've played. And, Everything kind of started off slow, but you got to just keep shooting, be confident. You know, we spent two, three months this whole summer just in the gym, working on different shots, working on different, you know, methods of getting open. So, you know, why not use this opportunity to, to get better and, and to show that? So, it's like everything was was how it was supposed to be today. You know, nothing's going to be easy, nothing's going to be given here. Everybody wants to win. So, I think it was a great first game for all of us. With Dariq, obviously, just. A rough night for him, but how good was it to see him just out there first of all and just to play? And how much were you guys just keeping his spirits up? Because he was still being aggressive. I love, I love, you know, not people don't understand, you know, everything he's gone through and, and, to, and to be here right now with, with good spirits, like you said, you can just see his energy, see him smiling, talking to everybody. Um, that just shows his passion for the game. And, you know, no matter if it's a good night or a bad night, having that character and having that, that energy to be a good teammate is something that you can never take away. So I feel like he brings that every night and, you know, he's looking for us in this game. I wanted to ask you about Keon, who you played a lot of, you know, a decent amount of minutes with last year in Long Island and a little bit there at the end in Brooklyn. What did you see from him today just in terms of, especially on offense, it seemed like he was really under control. He was aggressive, like, but like you said, um, under control. I feel like uh, with his speed, uh, being able to elevate when he can, gives him so many different moves to make. And, you know, his mindset coming in here is to picking dudes up 94 feet. And then on the offensive end, like you said, getting to the cup, making tough shots like the game-winning shot he had. Uh, his mindset has been great the entire time.